What's going on Shiba Inu coin holders? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about SHIB, of course, in the grand scheme of things, in the overall market right now. And I know it's a brutal time, guys. I'm telling you, it's it, it sucks sometimes when you're a holder of a particular crypto and nothing's happening and you're seeing all of these other people make money. Well, we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about kind of uh, how I've kind of position myself to A, not let this happen, not get frustrated, but B, to also learn from past mistakes. See, when I first came into crypto, it was all about Dogecoin and Shiba Inu. That was it. Those are the only two cryptos I cared about. But as I've progressed, as I've gotten a little bit further into my crypto journey, these last three and a half plus years, I've realized the importance of diversification. Meaning that yes, Shiba Inu is a strong part of my overall crypto portfolio, but it's not the only thing there. Meaning I have left myself open to the possibility that there are other opportunities out there. I'm sure you guys have seen that Pepe has been exploding lately, right? I'm sure you guys have seen that Keith Gill has come back to Twitter. And if you haven't seen this sort of stuff, it's a sign that you're too locked into one particular thing. And it's not a bad thing to be locked in or ready for a particular asset or knowing all there is to know about it. But in this crypto space, guys, it is so important to diversify. It's so important to stay open-minded into all of these various opportunities. There's always money to be had to be had. It doesn't matter what type of market we're in. And when it comes to Shiba Inu, right now it's a weird period. You know, right now it's boring, right? Not a lot of the OG meme coins are pumping outside of Pepe. Not a lot of the really solid utility-based projects, which Shiba Inu is becoming one of those now. Not a lot of these are pumping. It's kind of this bizarre no man's land where Bitcoin's kind of been doing its thing coupled with new meme coins. We've had a ton of different spin-off meme coins of Keith Gill coming back here on Twitter and all of this stuff. But at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, what is your main strategy with Shiba Inu? And where are your points where A, you want to add more to your position and B, where are your take profit points? How much Shiba Inu do you need to own in order to reach your goals? How long are you willing to wait in order to reach those goals? Once you reach those goals, you're gonna take profits. What are you gonna do with those profits? Are they gonna go back into Ethereum, back into Bitcoin, uh, be used to buy a house, uh, stock market, real estate investing? Whatever that is for you. Everybody's different, everybody has different goals and plans, but this is not the time period to get frustrated and leave the market. I know it feels as if Zach, we've been at this thing for so long, we still haven't hit my price target. Should I just give up? Should I go chase something else? My answer is, not financial advice here, is no, but answer yourself this question. How could you make more money in order to diversify yourself into other assets? In order to have a broadening scope of different types of things in your portfolio without giving up on Shiba Inu? I think that is a crucial thing that people need to hear because I'm hearing from a lot of people, Zach, is it ready just to, am I ready just to throw the towel in here and look for something else? I never want to do that. If it hasn't reached my threshold and I'm still extremely bullish on this asset, patience is a virtue, guys. You have to just hang in there. But in the meantime, how could you get more capital? How could you have more money to diversify your portfolio? Maybe play some short-term meme coin trading or swing trading with AI cryptos, whatever it is, right? We talk a lot about this stuff here on the channel and I thought this was a really important video to make right now. By the way, if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, we go live all the time and on those live streams, I kind of give you guys a peek behind the curtain in terms of what I'm thinking from the macro, what I'm thinking in terms of how I'm diversifying, what meme coins I'm buying. Of course, you guys can also join the Patreon if you're interested in that. But right here on YouTube, it's just free information, free alpha growing a great community, being here together every single step of the way. There will be better days ahead for SHIB. I promise you that. If you guys know anything about crypto, it's like the weather. If you don't like it, just wait a little while, wait a week, and it'll change, right? And the thing with SHIB is it's so reliant on Ethereum to where when Ethereum is volatile and choppy, that's what SHIB's gonna be, right? Until we get, I think, an Ethereum ETF, which I think is gonna happen later this year, 
I don't think we're going to have some crazy big explosion. We're waiting for that big catalyst. But in the meantime, again, let me stress this. In the meantime, there's money to be made. Another area, and I know most of people who are in love with Shiba Inu love the Kronos ecosystem, crypto.com. Kronos has its own blockchain now. Guys, this is huge. Kronos meme coins are exploding. There are tons of opportunities right now with Kronos meme coins. That is an area I have spent a ton of hours just today on. So I'm not just sitting there waiting for my Shiba Inu to go up. I'm an active investor. I'll sit there and be patient with my SHIB bag and wait patiently until it comes to my levels to take profits. But in the meantime, I'm diversifying out. I am looking to gain exposure to other places in the market. And that's the big message today in this video. So hopefully this finds you well. Hopefully you got some value. If you did, let me know down below in the comment section. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that jazz. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.